video tutorial how to use v video hello everyone and welcome back in today's video i'll be showing you guys how you can get started with v video v video has multiple different solutions for all types of entrepreneurs you can build amazing content with v video they have tools like a video editor screen recorder green screen interactivity video templates, course creation, peer review, learner made content, audience response system, and self-paced learning. All of this can be done with WeVideo and it provides you with an ecosystem that is going to help you in building amazing content. So let's get started with WeVideo. Now to get started with WeVideo, simply click on sign up for free and you can sign up with Google, Facebook, or your email address. I'm just going to proceed with my email address over here and I'm just going to click on continue. And once we do that, we can proceed with our sign up list. And once you do that, you're going to be led directly into your VVideo dashboard. Now on your top right, you're going to have your profile icon and your account settings. Then you're going to have feedback, help, and notifications. Then on the left, you have a home section, a template section, a project section, uploads, and exports. Now in your upload section, you can click on add media and you can record and upload media. You can select files from Google Drive, Dropbox, or even upload video directly from your device. This is going to help you in just being able to edit any type of content, being able to create any type of content, especially if you are building things like courses, if you're building things that are, you know, that are going to be pre-recorded, you can just upload them and they will be queued for processing depending on the length duration or the weight of the file it's going to take longer or shorter i am just uploading a little clip so no it's not going to take that long but for longer clips it is going to take a bit longer so you should keep that in mind now moving forward this is how you can upload a video now once you upload it you can click on open and you will see your video is uploaded here you can click on the details and start naming the design and if you want to proceed with editing you can go ahead click on create on the top and then once you click on create a video editor will open up from here you can click on your uploads on the left and drag and drop the video at the bottom you will see you have the ability to drag and drop your video like so and this is a really quick little video of a model so i just have this over here now to begin editing you guys can see this is going to now be added as a project and you can use royalty free videos from the video as well by clicking on the videos tab on the left and then you can use any of their videos you can also go into images to add images and then you even have an audio section so I want to add some music and this is pretty, um, you know, drastic. I want something a bit relaxed. So I'm just going to take a look at some of the relaxing music. Yeah, I like this. So I'm going to drag and drop that over here. And once you drop it at the bottom, you have the option to adjust the volume and choose to make it fade in and then fade out. And I'm going to click on done on the top right to just add this music. Now, once I've done that, you guys can see this audio clip is really long. So if I want, I can trim this to a specific point as well. But I'm just going to make it start from the start. Then on the top, you will see the option to add text. Now, these are different tracks that you can add. You can delete a track if you don't need it. But if you want to add a track at the bottom, you can just drag and drop content and add another track as well like this so whether it's a video slash text track or an audio track i want to add another video slash uh text track and i want to add a simple track where i can write some text over it so let's say i want to you know advertise something so i'm going to place the text over here and that, then i'll do a double click and then i'll write luxury fashion and I'm going for a vintage vibe here, but I think I'm going to have to make it fit better with the video because this does not suit the actual video. So we're going to go for a different font and I'm going to use a different color scheme as well. I, I don't think this looks pretty nice or nice at all. And then we're going to reduce the size a bit as well like this and then you can click on animation and you can scale it as well and then you can choose the end position like this and then you will see how your text is going to appear now i want to reduce the duration of the text like this 
And now if I go to the preview section, you guys will see that the, you know, text is added to a certain part only. Now after that, you have the ability to add transitions and these are really nice effects between videos and between the content that you have, especially when you have, you know, conjoining clips, you know, that are going to be interlinked. So this is going to look nice or this is just going to look best when you have, you know, these types of transitions included within multiple clips. You even have a section called extras where you can add overlays. You can add callouts as well. And then you can also add background if you want to resize the clip. So just hold the clip like this and then you can add any type of solid background or even one of these backgrounds. So you can just drag and drop that over here and you can add another video. So you're going to click on add video track, drag and drop the background track here. Then you're going to take this track and then you're going to move it down and then you're going to move it down again. You know, the track that is placed behind is, or the track that is placed at the bottom is going to be at the back. So when you're reordering stuff, you just have to hold the track that you want to bring to the front and move it up. And you can also do basic video editing, like splitting, adding comments, adjusting opacity, as well as scaling, adding animation, color, and speed, and altering the speed of the video or your video clips. Once you have completed all of these changes, you can click on export and export this as your first project. This is our sample project and we're going to export this as a video. Then we will have our standard definition chosen and for the free version of vVideo, you can only export in the standard version. You can go on ahead and choose a destination of Google Drive, YouTube, or OneDrive or just click on export over here to save to vVideo itself. And just like that, in a couple of minutes, your video is going to be saved in your project section. From here, you can go on ahead and start creating your new projects. Not only that, but you can even do screen recording. You can create and edit GIFs. You can add, you know, podcasts here and edit those. And you can even build storyboards. So if you're looking to do things like animation, all of that can also be done in video. And then if you want to alter your account info, you can go into your account on the top right. And then you have all of your connected apps and your personal data and your privacy settings that you can manage. Now, WeVideo has multiple different tools and plans for your needs. Depending on your needs, if you're a creator, you're going to have different plans and pricing. And this is for individuals. Now, their lowest tiered plan starts at $4.99 where you have 30 minutes of publishing time, 720p resolution, and access to basic doc media. Now, the best value is the professional plan at almost $20, where you have unlimited stock usage, premium templates, and brand management. You also have the unlimited version with unlimited storage and publishing time, 4K Ultra HD, and screen recording and webcam recording. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.